You know, a lot of companies focus on quality, and let me tell you, it's not just a slogan here at ADEC. It all starts with quality people. Many of the employees at ADEC have been here for over 20 years, and the average tenure is in the teens. That's amazing. Now, during my initial tour of the factory, we stopped at the assembly floor, and it was pointed out that each assembly team member works every station. Now, this has really served as an analogy for every aspect of the business, in that nobody tosses anything over the wall. Each deliverable, be it engineering model, machining code, or assembly instructions, must meet the same quality standard they expect out of the actual product. You know, the engineering group at ADEC really carries a pretty heavy burden when it comes to providing the rest of the organization the Autodesk Inventor models they need to perform their part of the job. In the machine shop, Brian and team access the engineering data through Autodesk Vault, bring it into their computer-aided manufacturing software to generate the machining code that gets plugged into their machines. Now, this information isn't remodeled. It's brought in directly from the same model that Patrick and team create inside of Autodesk Inventor. And when those models change, Brian can simply update the model inside his CAM application and the tooling paths update accordingly. Believe me, this is a process that many companies strive toward, and ADEC has a down path, so reaction time on a change is something that's easily managed. And next, I swing over to the sheet metal shop to see how they utilize the engineering data to get their parts out. And just like the machine shop, Matt and team access the engineering data within the vault, and they go from formed part to flat to nest, to cutting parts in about 15 minutes. That's so awesome to see yet another aspect of manufacturing here at ADEC repurpose the engineering data. Matt was telling me that before they had Inventor, flat pattern calculation was done by hand using bin tables. Now they can even use non-Inventor models inside of Inventor to get the same accurate flat patterns they get from native models. Now it's one thing to make the parts that go into dental equipment. It's another art altogether to make the parts that make the parts. Robert is just like most other manufacturing engineers, the unsung heroes of the engineering world, if you will. While the product guys get to make products that are appealing to the eye, Robert and team utilize the engineering data and Autodesk Inventor to help make machines that are appealing to Ken and Joanne's bottom line. Robert walks me through a project where automating the placements of washers, for example, saved over 800 hours and about $22,000 annually. And finally, I head over to the technical illustration team. Have a look at a service guide from the ADEC 300 series chair and you'll see firsthand what I mean by every deliverable is created with the same attention to quality as the equipment itself. Chris, Philip, and team utilize the vault to get the engineering data they need to bring it into 3DS Max, for example to make some of the most stunning imagery of their products, often even before the first physical model is ever assembled. Now I showed them some new technology called Autodesk Inventor Publisher, as well as the Autodesk Inventor Publisher mobile app. And as you can see, I had a hard time even getting my iPad back. Quality people, processes, and technology culminate into what they refer to as the ADEC way. Now tune in and watch the entire episode at www.youtube.com forward slash Rob Cody. I'll see you next time.